In this how-to video, we will be wiring up two drop-down list controls in a cascading style. Now, my country list is going to be fairly large, so I'm going to tie this list to a region-based drop-down list so that when a user selects a region, the country list will be automatically filtered with country choices from the selected region. I have set up a smart object named Countries that holds a list of countries and a smart object named Regions that holds regions like the Americas and APAC for Asian Pacific countries. For the cascading effect to work, you need to first identify or ensure that there is a common property between the two data sources to create the parent-child relationship. In my example, the region ID field is the common property, and I have set up the country smart object to depend on the region ID field that comes from the region smart object. Think of this as being like a foreign key relationship in database terminology between these two smart objects. Let's go back over to the views edit screen. Over here, I have walked through the steps to create an item view tied to an address smart object, and I have also added the drop-down list controls for region and country, but have yet to wire up the data sources and functionality. Next, I need to wire up the parent drop-down list controls data source for the list it will display first, so let's start with the region drop-down list. I'll select this control on the design canvas to open up its property tab over here on the right side of the screen. The settings we are concerned with for this lesson will be the smart object settings. So under the data source group, click on the ellipses button for the type property. In the configured data source window that appears, we want to select the option called use a smart object as a data source. Then for the smart object in question, click on the ellipses button for the smart object property you will need to drill down into the K2 category that holds your smart object. So in my case, it's under all items, K2 learning, global locations, smart objects, and I'll select regions. At this point, K2 will default the method to the relevant get list method for this smart object, and it will set the value of the control to be the common key ID field, in this case, region ID. This is what will be stored in the address data source when saving or creating new address records. I also want my drop-down list to display items from this smart object of which need to come from the region field since this contains the textual names of my regions. I don't need to set anything else here for this demonstration, so for now I'll click OK to go back to the view. Next, we need to configure the child drop-down list, which is my country list control here on the view. I'll select that control on the Design Canvas to open up its Properties tab. Again, the settings we are concerned with will be the Smart Object settings, so under the Data Source group, click on the Ellipses button for the Type property. In the Configure Data Source window that appears, we want to select again the option Use a Smart Object as a Data Source. Then click on the Ellipses button for the Smart Object property. I'll go back to All Items, K2 Learning, Global Locations, Smart Objects, and this time I'll select Countries. Again, all the default settings will work for me here, like Method, the Value field, and the Display field. However, before closing this window out, this is where we need to tie in the filtering based on the region drop-down list we just configured. Going down to the bottom of this window, put a check in the checkbox called Filter the Data According to Another Control's Value. Next, we need to set the parent control to the region drop-down list. Notice that it automatically recognizes the parent join property field from this control as region ID. We need to set the child join property to the region ID field in the country list here. With that, we're all set. I'll go ahead and click OK to go back to the view. And I'll also click Finish. Now let's jump to the view in Run Mode. As you can see, these drop-down lists are tied together when selecting a region. The country list changes by filter according to the selected region, and it's based on the region ID value that we configured. To make this work, K2 automatically added event rules to the view so the country list would refresh its list when the selected region item is changed.